have a plus box. We're going to unbox it. And I'm going to try to keep the energy up because I'm going to be, I'm going to be real with you guys. This came a couple days ago and I did peak and I have some qualms with this. I don't want to seem ungrateful. Um, underwhelmed, I think was underwhelmed, underwhelmed is probably a better word. word. I like, I don't want to seem ungrateful and I know that, you know, with sub subscriptions, things, you know. Well, I think it speaks to the quality of past boxes yes. that your expectations were higher and this they one just were. was under a little bit compared to the previous boxes. But Bless but, Box, Cezanne, I still love you. You still have a place in my heart. Everybody has an off month. It's okay. Let's get going. All right. <laughs> so we've got this month for our coupons. We have a recipe for a smoothie. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like it is healthy. I'm like okay healthy. with that. That's it's got fun. superfoods, greens, proteins. So and our little booklet. I love her little booklets. Yes, it does. This is a very nice pose on the cover of this month. You're wearing my favorite color, says. Yes, yellow is a fave. Um, Benitos, I believe that they we're going to see a sample of this. And this one has these fun little tiny cards. Yeah. And it's kind of nice because I doubt that you'll get the Valentine's Day box before Valentine's, or the February box before Valentine's Day. Probably so not. these have these nice little, they're little cards, but they say fun little things like happiness looks gorgeous on you. Um, ooh, 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 you're magic. Like these are fun little. They are fun. Little I did think they're cute. I sometimes write notes to my daughter and leave them on her and like some of the little postcards she likes that. So let's delve in. Delve in. So we have a planner. It is January. It is. Prime month for planners. It is. I enjoyed that. I thought it was cute. I currently already have one. Um, I didn't think that this one was anything too spectacular, quite honestly. Um, it's kind of generic, which I mean, some people might like. We're kind of yeah. planner nuts. We like to customize and coordinate and there's 17 levels of everything. It so needs I mean, to be the more complicated, the better. Yes. So this is a more simplistic version. I do love the stripes. However, I'm a big fan. My planner has stripes already. Um, so, I mean, it's not a bad planner. There's also a lot of note pages. I love notes. I love to make lists, but it's an introductory. Like if you wanted to, as part of your new year, be organized and start off with a planner and you don't want to invest in the big crazy ones. Like this is definitely a win. I, yeah, I mean, I, this definitely was one of the things out of there. Definitely, definitely, definitely one of the things out of there that I really liked. Then we have two edibles this month. I was really excited about the tea. I love coffee. I love tea. If it's a warm drink, I want to drink it. Lots of lemon going on here. I love it. It is lemon lemony. Tea. There's peppermint and lemon, which is an interesting combination. Chamomile and lemongrass, lemon mm -hmm. and ginger, and a detox. So this depth this for sure <laughs> will be something that I will get some use out of and try some things out of it. I was excited about this. I'm not a big fan of bean chips, but have my best tried? pal. Have you tried a lot of bean chips? I have. They before. are gluten free, I believe. They are gluten free. I mean, I'll surely, I'll surely try it, but I mean, it, this might fall into my husband or my best pal's lap at some point. It does, by the way, this brand apparently does come in some other flavors. A lot of other flavors. Holy There's guacamole. a rainbow happening. And here they have a mac and cheese one. I would probably try that. Mac and cheese bean chips. So, you know, if you do like them in your box, you need to get a coupon for one free one. So. I mean, don't knock it till you try it. But I mean, I'll, I'll try it. Right. I just, uh, I prefer the granola bars. Then we have a UB moisturizing skin cream. This was one of the products that I was excited about. It was invented by a Japanese pharmacist in 1957. So it says right here, it's really good for smoothing or excuse me, soothing rough, dry skin from head to toe. It says that you should put it on your problem areas right after you shower. I could probably do that. I just, it's not a very big size, but it's definitely uh, something that I would, uh, I would use. I believe that's actually, that's a full size. This is a full size. It is. It says this is small enough to take anywhere with you. Just throw it in your purse. So it's that oh. size on purpose. That's a $7 bottle. What the heck? And so next we have Juice Beauty. It's an eye pencil. Is it a pencil pencil or? It Ooh, it's, is. Like, it's just a twist. I don't wear a lot of eyeliner. I usually, that's too much maintenance for me to try to do in the morning. This so is a nice gray color. It's a very nice gray which is a good neutral. It's not quite as harsh as black. It's nice to have them. Like I enjoy having them in my collection because you never know when it might strike my fancy to put a little line in my eyes. I will give that a try. I was excited about this out of, we're starting to get into some of the items in this box. I can see her about ready to reach for one that I wasn't as thrilled about. 
let's just get them all done at the same time done. Yes. Let's just do it. It's like okay. a band-aid. All now, I think part of the hesitation here is it is familiar. We did just see this last month in a different size, mm -hmm. and it was in the same set. This now just kind of branches out the variety. This is the smaller version of it. All the when. All What's the when, on with you could when? ever want. I think that maybe Cezanne lost a bet to Chaz Dean and now maybe. has to put all of these products in her boxes for a little while. <laughs> because it's a lot. There was a huge, huge bottle of when in the last one along with the skincare. Yes. And the November box before that had a mousse and a spray or it had some other when products, different scent, but some other when products. So when I actually got this box and felt that it was heavy before I'd even peeked inside, I was excited. My heart was filled with joy. And then it slowly sank like an anchor when I pulled it open and saw all the when and I was like, oh my gosh. This is a replenishing treatment mist, yeah. though. Like, maybe that's fun. Maybe. It says specifically it's for curly hair. I mean, maybe. I, I yes. I'm sure they're great. And, and a treatment oil. This is like a whole... It just was a lot of when to take in three months in a row. This one is, however, like a whole treatment regimen. You have the replenishing treatment mist in the full size and a travel size, as well as treatment oil. So if this is your first box and you have not yet experienced the repetitive one, maybe you're going to be really excited about trying these things. I did see too, because I went through um, and looked at past boxes through all of last year. And I noticed that there are some repeat offenders. I think there were some lotions they did a repeat on and maybe it was a dry shampoo. I cannot remember. I should have taken notes. I could have taken notes in my notebook pad could scheduler. Have. It could very well also be that there are things that are fan favorites there that could be. people really responded well to and so she wanted to give people the opportunity that and hadn't I can gotten appreciate the first time. That. So we're not definitely not knocking it. It's no. just it gets a little repetitive and, and I apologize so together. I apologize if this comes off negative in any way. I don't want to seem ungrateful, but you also have to think about it. You know, you're paying for these subscriptions and most often you don't, you surely want it to be something you're going to use. So I was a little, little It just wasn't a good fit this month and mm -hmm. that's okay. It happens. When you do a subscription box, you are surprised. It's a gamble. It you're is. throwing your money out there and they're going to send something back to you from the universe and it's either going to be fantastic or kind of in between or occasionally. The universe and nice. I were not in alignment this time. It happens. So next we have, and just in time for me to start blushing, we have a daily intimate wash. I probably will not use this. This is pH balance. It is for your special places. It is supposed to keep <laughs> you, you say that so delicately. pampered with freshness. It is a premium intimate hygiene product. So this definitely, I mean, it's done with a Swedish professor of gynecology with 40 years of Listen, experience. I'm sure it's fantastic. I saw this and I, I'm very particular about <laughs> that type of hygiene. So but I, it smells like violet cotton. Well, you can take that home with you. <laughs> We're going to see how... Oh, it smells really fresh. I'm sure it does. It really does smell nice. It really does smell nice. Can you use it other places besides this? I'm sure you can use it like a regular body wash. I would I just assume can't even you look at could. The I just can't even look. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could use it anyway. You can use it on your face. It's it's very gentle. This might this might be going home with Dawn. Merry Christmas, Dawn. All right, and last in the box, we have this triple prescription shampoo. I guess it's not prescription. It's just the symbol for prescription. Oh. That was misleading. I apologize. So, this is the Amica. What yes. is the name on it? Um, Triple prescription symbol shampoo in C. Buckthorn Berry. I have their your color stay. I can't remember the name of it. I have the, that shampoo and conditioner upstairs. I have the dry shampoo from this brand. Do you? That I like. Yeah, I get it in Birchbox fairly often, and it's one of those products that come in Birchbox. Let it open. Let's. That I use, and then I use it enough that I like getting another sample of it in the future. That is the one upside with samples as opposed yeah. to deluxe products, is that if you get the same sample more than once, chances are you've already used up your previous sample, and you might just be really hoping for another freebie. Exactly. Let's smell this. I love the way that that uh, color stay, or keep your color, or something like that, I think is what it's called. Everything always wants me to have to work really hard to get to anything. I don't understand. I have the worst luck. But I bet you it smells luck. fantastic. Oh, wait, we got we cracked it open. Look at that business. Oh, it's nice. It does not smell like the other one. No. No, well, but it smells it smells delightful. That's nice. I could see. So, granted, it, that was something I was excited about when I saw it. So, out of this box, the things that I was most excited about would have been the tea, this pencil, this and that. I mean, so to me, that's kind of like 
underwhelming. Well, I'm thinking maybe too that it's a new year, the new year is just starting, maybe it takes some time to build up momentum because I also will say that glancing through, I always like to go through the book and kind of see the value of what, what the most expensive you're getting. Thing in here? And I mean, this this box definitely sets expectations because generally you get a really, really good value. We've had items come in the Bless box that retail in the 80 to 90 I have range. items in my favorites that came from Bless box. The you pass the, the highest boxes. priced thing this month is that treatment oil at $36. And then everything else is underwhelmingly lower. I mean, and that's that's fine. It is because it's still you're still getting a it's still mm -hmm. a value. You're paying what do you pay? Thirty nine ninety five. I pay twenty nine, and then you pay for your own shipping. Okay, so twenty nine plus your shipping. So I mean, the one higher value item in here is still paid for. So everything else is still technically free. So I mean, it's still a value. It's just not the normally there's a little shock and awe when we start looking yeah. through the retail price because it's such a good value that you're getting a couple hundred dollars worth of things in your yeah. $29 box. This month wasn't that, but again, it's January. You got to recover from the holidays. It's kind of the winter. You're kind of ho-humming it through I'm really, I'm really hoping that maybe there's a little less when and a little a little more variety. Maybe they were just cleaning out the warehouse. They could very well be. They could have had a surplus of yes, when, and that's fine. February is going to get right back on the A game, and maybe February's box is going to be fantastic. Maybe this box is a little underwhelming so that the February's box looks so much that more glorious. That could very well be. And again... For those of you that did get this box and loved everything in there, not trying to be negative, I understand that they try to put in enough variety to keep it. Uh, some people really enjoy this, so don't want to yuck someone else's yum by any means as I almost knock over this oil. However, we still recommend Bless Box. It's still, still do. I think it's still Reese's favorite box. It is my favorite box. It, it is. It, and I, I think it's because anytime you join us in our subscription adventure, you will have some fails. There are going to be months where the stuff that comes just isn't as exciting as you would hope for because, again, they have so many subscribers. They, they can't do. possibly make everybody happy. So you definitely want to just embrace it for what it is mm -hmm. most of the time you're probably going to be really pleased if for some reason you have a subscription and after a couple months nothing makes you happy then definitely that's a time to maybe reevaluate it but that's not happened for us no and like i said Cezanne, you still have my love i love you i love this subscription just this wasn't my favorite but i still got you i still love you we're excited for next month we are excited for next month if you still love us and want to catch us next time be be sent updates whenever uh, we post new videos give us a big old thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button we will see you next time and thanks for watching